Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with the fabulous Bill Jordan. Fabulous. Hello, thanks, Bill. You're our you're our go-to philosopher kind of guy. You have you would just put things in perspective for us. That is quite the compliment and more than a little bit of pressure. But um, well, I, I think it's because of your book, Bill. Yeah, uh, I, well, I, I would like to say, Bill. Okay. You keep talking about these 15 practices, and everybody should get a copy of your 15 practices, but I'm more interested in number 16. Ah. So <laughs> you're, you're an underrated guy. You, you, you're like an under, understated guy. Okay, you talk about 15 practices, but I really want you to share with our audience number 16. Sure. Well, the 15th practice is expect the unexpected and when possible, be the unexpected. So then, of course, 15, it's, that's the end of the practices. And then I hit you with number 16. See what I did there. I employed practice number 15 by being the unexpected and giving you a 16th practice. And the 16th okay. practice to me, the 16th practice to me is, is the bow that ties the 15 practices together. And the 15 practices are just ways and so much of it borrowed from the ancient uh, philosophers on how to live life, you know, keep it simple, stay in the present, the golden rule, stuff like that, and just a different kind of take on those 15 things. But you guys saw Saving Private Ryan, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had to see that. So toward the end of the movie, um, Captain John Miller, who is uh, uh, Tom Hanks' character in the movie, he is shot and mortally wounded at this bridge that they're trying to hold to keep the Nazi forces from, you know, overrunning them and things like that. So he's wounded. They're having to save Private Ryan. Private Ryan is with uh, Captain John Miller as Captain John Miller is dying. And in that scene, Tom Hanks, John Miller, reaches out and grabs Private Ryan, by, played by Matt Damon, grabs him by his uniform and pulls him close and he whispers something and we don't quite hear what he says. We see his mouth move and, and Ryan doesn't hear him and he says, you know, sir, and you hear Tom Hanks say, earn this. Yeah. Earn it. What's he talking about? This whole squad of guys go on looking for this, this, uh, this uh, private Ryan who's lost two of his brothers in combat in that day and they want to send him back home. But in the process of rescuing and saving Private Ryan, the squad loses guys. They're killed in action. Sure. Now, now even John Miller. So in this feat of special effects that still blows my mind when I see it, you go from a young Matt Damon, and it kind of filters, and all of a sudden you get this older guy that looks like an older Matt Damon. And he's standing over the grave of Captain John Miller at the American Cemetery over, overlooking Omaha Beach in Normandy. And his family comes up behind him. As, as they're coming up behind him, he speaks to John Miller, his, his gravesite, saying, every day of my life, I've thought about what you said to me on that beach, or uh, that day on the bridge, rather. And his wife comes up to him, and he looks at her. And she sees this Captain John Miller and doesn't understand what has happened. And he looks at her and says, tell me I've been a good man. Tell me I've led a good life. She doesn't understand what's going on, right? And she said, yes, you have. So I think for me, and, and part of that is from my dad being a combat veteran of World War II, and all the sacrifices that he and my mom gave and that generation gave for my life, I just think living my best life is how I earn it. And I think we should do our best to do that, you know, just instead of just meandering through life. And as I wrapped up the book, you know, the embrace the boom thing, live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom and earn this. Hmm. That's just of number 16. And it's what puts them all together. Why should you stay in the present? Why should you keep it simple? Why yeah. should you practice the golden rule? If these are all ways to earning this life that our previous generations provided for us. Yep. And we have an obligation to earn our lives. I believe that. Yeah. And as an example for the next generations. Well, That's Bill, it. 
Bill, Bill, with your your constant uh, uh, Facebook posts and uh, all the stuff that you get out to encourage people every day, uh, you are embracing the boom and you have earned this every day. Thank you. I so appreciate it, guys. We, we raise our cup to I'll, you. I'll close it out again using this handy prop. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, and earn this. You're here. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.